the screen is bleeding. <laughs> I'm trying to make it stop. I don't know what to do. You're gonna make it. Just hold on. Hold on. Precious GoPro. Hold on. Whew. Sorry you had to watch that. I know it's hard to watch. It's a serious thing. GoPro, if you're watching this, please fix the screen. We care about your products, even though apparently you don't. This is the GoPro Hero 5 Black. This is the lens. And this is where the controversy lies. Bing! Eduardo, you liked that bing sound, didn't you? What's up, YouTube? What you doing? Doing all right? It's been a while. All right, cool. This is the Hero 5 Black. But there's something going on with this. And it's something that I'm titling Bleedgate. Yes, that's right. Bleed. Gate. This thing's bleeding. You might be wondering what I'm talking about. This is bleed gate. Now if you look to the top left corner, you will see the light bleeding out pretty badly from the screen. Now you really only notice it when you're looking in uh, either a dark room or on a dark screen. For this particular example, so here's the problem. I see the issues going on with this and I did a little research. There's a forum. I'm not making this up on GoPro's website about this issue. And it's like nine pages deep. But GoPro is not addressing it. That's the, that's the thing. GoPro is not addressing this. In a comment to a guy, they said, that is a normal thing. And there's pictures, a lot of people are having the exact same issue that I'm having. This is a legitimate concern. But it's kind of funny that GoPro's just like, meh, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Their kind of stance on it is it doesn't affect camera quality. I'm sure that's what they're leaning on. It doesn't affect camera quality. It doesn't affect camera quality. And they're right, it doesn't. But it's annoying as shit. It looks like it's broken. It looks like somebody threw it out of a window. And then the screen, the light's bleeding now. That's what it looks like. Kratos, come here, boy. She hides your camera. She hides it's okay. It's okay. Say hi. Mwah. You don't like the screen bleeding either, do you? He doesn't like it. All right, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you do your thing. <sighs> Where was I? And they're not addressing it. They're trying to act like it's not a thing. It is a thing. For a self comparison, because I had to look into this more, one of the older Hero Pluses and the Hero 4 Silver, neither one of these do that. The screen looks perfectly fine. There's no issue at all. Then you pull out this bad boy, bring him into the party, and he's got some issues. He's got some leakage. It's bright and it hurts my eyes. Ah! That's how bright it is. This is actually the second. So the footage that you're looking at is the second Hero 5 that I got. The first one also had an issue, but a little bit more strange. It was still on the display, but there were little white dot specks. Kind of like if you've ever seen faked UFO sightings on YouTube, there's like these little white dot specks in the sky. That was the issue with the display on the first Hero 5 that I, that I got. And you could only see it in white light. So like if you looked up at something like the sky or like a wall or something, you would see these shiny white dots and they were all over the screen. And uh, I tried putting up with it, but it was, there was no way in hell that I was gonna be able to deal with that. So I was like, I gotta return this. Like this is a manufacturing glitch, um, no problem. Returned it, right? Get this one, take it home. Actually, I didn't even make it home. I was looking at it in the car on the way back and noticed the screen bleeding. So I was trying to decide at that point, which one did I, which one was worse? Because, so at that moment, I was trying to decide which one did I prefer? But the white spec dots was really annoying and that would actually affect shooting because this thing doesn't have, GoPros don't have a viewfinder. So you gotta think, the only thing that you're ever looking at is this LCD display. That's all you're ever looking at. And therefore, 
it needs to be pristine. It needs to be good. It needs to be pleasable to the eye. Which brings us back to the controversy. GoPro's not doing shit. So, GoPro, got a lot of respect for you. You're a game changer. But this is a problem. This is not something that Apple's letting happen. Apple's not allowing that to happen. They're not. Why am I bringing up Apple? Because they're kind of the gold standard in the tech community. They make shit flawless, to, to, as flawless as possible. This is an actual problem, but it doesn't affect the camera quality. So I'm actually gonna be keeping this, and that's the funny part. <laughs> GoPro's like, ha, gotcha, bitch. Got the problems, and you're still keeping it. That's the kind of company we are. We so good, it's got a problem, and you know it, and you still keeping it. That's what, that's how we good, man. That's what we got going on. That's what's up. That's GoPro for you. But yeah, I'll be keeping this. Um, I've seen even worse screen bleeding than this. This is in the top left corner. And so I'm just making the decision that this is the one I'm gonna be keeping because I could swap this out and get something even worse. And the benefits to this camera, the overall benefits, I have focus, still outweigh the Hero 4 Silver. I was considering just returning this bad boy and keeping this one, but I'll be honest, the thing that fucking pisses me off with this Thing that really pisses me off with this shit it's got this ancient fucking plug-in it has like a nine-year-old charging port look at this shit that was like samsung's charging port on like their first galaxy ever no joke i don't understand why gopro would use that port why wouldn't they use a micro usb i don't understand why they wouldn't just use a micro usb i don't I don't understand. So what does that mean to me? Why is that annoying? Well, I gotta carry that one stupid cord with me everywhere I travel to use this thing to charge it. So just for the fact that this has USB-C, setting aside the 4K capabilities and the built-in waterproof housing and the new software and all that stuff, really the main reason that I'm keeping this and selling this shit is the port, the plug-in port. So GoPro, let's keep the ports up to date, buddy. Eh? Eduardo. I don't, I know, I don't know either. I really don't know what GoPro was thinking. Even the Hero Plus has micro USB. Okay, GoPro, we need to have a talk. Anyways, Bleedgate is alive. It's an actual thing. And it's totally up to you as to whether or not you wanna deal with it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You have nothing to lose. Worst case, what's, what's, what's the worst that could happen? Hmm? See a video, you don't like it? Thumbs down it. Subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you want to hire me on as your design and product analysis person, please give me a call. I'm available any time of the day, except when I'm in the bathtub shaving my legs. I'm kidding, I don't really actually shave my legs. But if I did, that would not be a proper time for you to give me a call or a job offer. Visit me on LinkedIn if that is the route you want to take. I don't even understand where I'm going right now with this. But, you can hire me if you want to. I'll make sure shit like this doesn't happen. I don't even understand how it did happen.